Two years ago, Being Patient reporter Simon Spichek noticed he was feeling tired no matter how much he slept. I'd find myself nodding off at my computer or on the couch whenever I'm trying to read or write. And then I noticed that it was also affecting my ability to stay focused and to string certain sentences together. I started noticing weight gain and increase in blood pressure and cholesterol. I was worried. Simon, who also has a master's degree in neuroscience, embarked on a journey to find out what was wrong, attending nearly two dozen doctor's appointments. He even recalls one cardiologist telling him he was lazy and needed to exercise more. Finally, an endocrinologist suspected sleep apnea, a potentially serious disorder that causes a person's airways to collapse for short amounts of time during sleep. So we ended up setting up a sleep study where I'd be monitored, and it turned out that I snored very, very loud and that my airways collapsed about 60 times per hour, which was preventing me from entering a deep state of sleep. As a science reporter, Simon set out to explore whether there's a connection between sleep apnea and dementia. He posed that question to New York University's Director of Healthy Brain Aging and Sleep Center. Ricardo Osario Suarez says studies on the connection between sleep apnea and dementia began more than a decade ago with mice. Researchers discovered that proteins associated with Alzheimer's risk accumulated in the brains of the mice during the day and cleared up at night. So we now know that these two proteins that accumulate in the brain get cleared during sleep. So one of the functions of sleep is to clear some of these proteins that start to deposit and the relationship with sleep apnea came a little bit later. But what if someone's not sleeping well? Scientists are exploring what happens to the brain in people who aren't sleeping soundly. A study from the American Academy of Neurology found people with sleep apnea spend less time in deep sleep, which means they may be more likely to have brain biomarkers linked to an increased risk of Alzheimer's and cognitive decline. According to Dr. Rosario Suarez, there are many factors that influence dementia risk. Sleep is only one of them. Not everyone with a sleep disorder will develop dementia. But as Simon found, there are treatments for sleep apnea, and they can help improve cognitive health. If one is diagnosed with sleep apnea, they'll likely be prescribed a continuous positive airway pressure machine, or CPAP, a device that uses air pressure to keep airways open during sleep. So if you use CPAP well, and use it for seven hours. The sleep of people that use sleep apnea and they are used to it shows that the sleep goes completely back to normal. But in severe cases like Simon's, a CPAP may not be enough. He was prescribed a bi-level positive airway pressure machine, or BiPAP, which provides distinct air pressure levels for inhalation and exhalation. It's made a world of difference. It's made an enormous impact for me, and especially knowing that uh, I do a lot of stuff with my brain every day, including, you know, reading a lot of scientific articles, reading news articles, writing, and in, in general, it requires a lot of focus, a lot of concentration. I also love reading, and I also love climbing at the gym, and, you know, getting my sleep apnea in check has allowed me to go back to doing the things I really love to do.